Ja. What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. I'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! Hi, <laughs> you. Sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth? Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's call me drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. And I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man, perhaps you have heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are... Confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> that breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American. An outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the governor. Or what is left of it. 
Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! You can take your horse or ride on the wagon. to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught. But do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Baby. I ended as a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this, and I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, senor master. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better? To pull your arm around a hungry man or to beat him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Who are these outlaws you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williams is a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you to sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel peace. Mexico is an easy place for men to lose himself whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price. Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. It's rebellion. It is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind there, Senor Marcel. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid, and like cows, they can be hurting. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose, in a twisted kind of way. 
Thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're gonna look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes? He's a traitor, a liar, a coward in the Senate, a hero who has done nothing. I have pulled more respect for the shit I looked this morning than I ever will for that pathetic war. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family, a man born in a golden cradle, who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcony giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. It's not for now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon, and we're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train, but there are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. If there's some bait they can refuse. Come on! The train is waiting! Vámonos! Faster!
vida ustedes también. Compadre, we had a good thing for Mexico today. Colonel Allende would be very pleased. ¡Los rebeldes están robando el tren! ¡Levántese, Pérez! ¡Sosos, que sepa que le estoy pagando! Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. ¡Todavía, levántese! Ay, ¡Usted también! ¡Y allá para muévase! ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Uno. ¡Ay, Dios mío, levántese! ¡Ya mismo! ¡Hurry! ¡The train is getting away!
No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? <laughs> What are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to... Spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land. Any further unpleasantries? Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I, too, have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, americano. As you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> A socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. As long as you're killing quail or peasants. If you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. 
Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a stream. kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a, with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come well, on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if the Schofield makes a difference. Now, that's a real gun. Try one more time. Remember what I told you. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Come on, I've got another idea. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time.
Señor Ricketts, señor Ricketts. Señor Ricketts, señor Ricketts, por favor, señor. Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, señor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Come on, these people need me. Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. Trouble, all right? Come on. Touch landing. Nobody said I had. We talked real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a landed wicked partner, young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. That fool nearly shot me. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even.
Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You are an American, are you not? Last time I checked. Oh, thank God, sir. Thank God. I have had it up to here with Dagos, up to here. A savages. Mm, well, I do what I can to help. But this land was imagined by an angry god for an angry people. <laughs> Well, America ain't exactly a peaceful paradise, mister. Well, um, I tried, but well, at least you lot try to speak bloody English. Uh, this bloody lot. My God, if I'd wanted to speak Spanish, I'd have gone to Spain. Why didn't you? Oh, good question. Well, you know, business, I suppose. <laughs> Devil making work for idle hands, what? <laughs> now, uh, now, listen, friend. If you were to go west to Nosalida, I'd give you a reward for picking up a package of mine from the docks. Hmm? Well, there's, there's some fighting broken out there. Uh, it seems like it's more your kind of thing. Why would I want to do something like that? <laughs> oh, you Americans are all the same, obsessed with bloody money. Well, I will pay you, sir. I will give you a buck. Names Tollitz, sir. Uriah Tollitz. They'll know of me in Nosalida. How much? Plenty, sir, plenty. Uh, now you will take it and give it to the foreman of the estate at El Matadoro. He'll be expecting it. <laughs> Try to give those dagos hell, what? <laughs> oh, that's a fine fellow. Coronel Allende era un campesino. ¿Todo bien? ¿Atreves a difamar al comandante? ¡Muerte a todos los rebeldes! ¡Diablo! Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Señor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacone, uh, grindy Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being. Not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. You can take the train with me or ride yourself. Makes no odds to me. Están robando viajeros en las montañas de Hendidura. Muy buenos días, mi amor. 
I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. I'm not here for that, miss.
Right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. See? Si. We're here for Luisa. She's still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. Hope you're ready for this. calor hoy. Bien bochornoso, ¿verdad? No lo voy a decir otra vez. ¡No puedes estar aquí! Eh, oye, soy yo, Carlos. Pues trabajo en el matadero. No me importa quién eres. Esta es una zona militar prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. Mi hermana tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tu cerdo. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. That's our cue. Come on, let's get into those caves. Te voy a matar! Come on, I can't do this by myself. Stay with me. Call yourself soldiers? That ain't nice! You should start worrying, friends! Nearly there. Get up here, Marston. What the hell? Drop that bastard, Marston. something for my trouble. Table. 
Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. That's enough! Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! Let's go before any more of them show up. meeting us here. Where is he? Something doesn't feel right here. Easy now. There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Gasquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking.
on, gringo. Show me your cojones. Anything to shut you up. May the best man win. On three. One, two, three, go! You know my daughter. At least you You're tried your best. Lose. Hello? How much dinero you wish to bet? I bet I got you, friend. Andale, machote! Uno, dos, tres! It's over. <laughs> Tough bastard, ain't you? Andale! You see, Jesus, the más machote de madrugada. Wanna bet on this? Andale, machote! Uno, dos, tres! <laughs> That's all you got. Gringo, show me who is the machote. Welcome to Nuevo Paraiso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death, between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. For your sake, I hope you don't. But why are you faithful to your wife if you pay a man to sleep with whores? I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised to the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? Road's full of thieves. Either that or robber yourself. I'll see you around, John. I hope you don't.
crumbs for the poor. Uh, oh, sir. Could you find it in your heart to donate some money for the poor? Perhaps cast a little sunlight into their lives? Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock, not mine? Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me so you could help me. They're at their wit's end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path so they could see they're those who care. A few dollars to completely restore someone's faith? I never knew life is so simple. There you are, sister. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. Gracias, señor. And God bless you. Please, can you go now? You're making me nervous. Let's go. word for what you're in, friend. on a little ride.
Didn't want to waste a bullet on this one. Seen the error of his way. Gracias, senor. These men will never see daylight again. You're welcome, mister. Hijole! Stay close to the perro and his entrenador. Any problems? Call me. Amigo, remember the instructions. Stay close to the dog. This looks like the one.
Where is he, boy? No, thank you, my dear. Stay close to the perro and his entrenador. Any problems? Call me. Stay close to the dog, amigo, as you were instructed.
señor. Show me where he is. What have you got? Look like 
like your house, mister. You having fun yet? Mister, shut up. Muchas gracias. Hey, amigo, you want to make some money? Ven conmigo. They're delivering provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons, I give you good money. Best be ready to pay up.
It's nothing, señor. Ya es que era un de caballo y domestícalo. A su gusto, señor. Whenever you ready. <risa> Todo de altísima calidad. Te doy mi palabra. Easy. I got you. Don't move. You'll be fine. Relax now. Boom. Voy a desenterrar el tesoro legendario del río del toro. Will this clear my name? Anda el diablo. You come to pay for your life? Ah, ¿Eh? señor. ¿Cómo está? Que Dios proteja. Careful there, friend. Mm. 
Escucha lo que te digo. Habrá guerra en Europa. Por unos pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, ¿eh? No me toques. Me gusta la No tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cards. Garzon, champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> Oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, hey. Namakshan! It'd be 
my pleasure. I wonder if you're also as lucky as Mr. Ricketts here. Mr. Marston, I hope you realize you're in the presence of one of the keenest German minds in all of Mexico. I called. Muller, we might have to send you off prospecting for more silver soon. I'll call. I'll check. I just ain't getting the cards. Not for me. I'm going to fold. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Nothing like a game of poker to warm the soul. I'll take a whiskey, if you're buying, Muller. No, thank you. I checked that. Interesting. Check. I fall. You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. Let's get this over with! Steady now, partner. Stay calm. You should have stayed home, Yankee!
did play his cards too early. Come on, we've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> you, uh, the man like on Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> Better not miss, partner. No merezco esto! No puede ser! And I know that girl. Oh, Dios mío. Oh, madre mía. No, por favor. Tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Say, partner. <laughs> hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? <laughs> Something like that. Well, well, you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. 
<laughs> Already had me a woman. Got me a farm. Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> Been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them. Kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me. I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now. Sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts! Mr. Ricketts! Thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. Both of you. Let's head for Escalera. No rush. I'm sure they'll hold the executions till we get there. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Don't fall behind. Make that horse work. What are you doing? Stick with me or don't ride with me at all. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived a charm life. I've known wealth, respect, love, even fame. I never read a book or done a day's work. But I had everything a man could want. But now, now that I'm here, I don't know. Do you have a son? I do. Called Jack. Another stubborn and angry young fella. I think that's my only regret, not having children. I mean, I'm sure there's a few brothel boys out there with my blood in their veins, but not a real son. The Ricketts' name will go to the grave with me. All I'll be leaving behind is other dead bodies. You can still be a father. No, not now. Too late for me. But you, you still have the time. I hope so, sir. I really do. You see that? Prison wagons. That must be them. Come on! See if you can take control of that first wagon. Yeah! Come on, easy up now! Convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. This is our chance. See if you can take control of that first wagon.
Now, we'll handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you, too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well-connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. Yeah. 